Lee Ainsley started his investment journey at Tiger Management under the legendary Julian Robertson. Thanks to his mentor, he became one of the so-called Tiger Cubs, alongside people like Chase Coleman or Joel Greenblatt. Lee Ainsley established Maverick Capital in 1993. He currently owns 344 stocks in the US portfolio, but the top 10 stocks make up almost 49% of it. So before we will take a look at his biggest investments, a quick disclaimer. This video is not sponsored by any company, but it is supported by those of you who bought my course Dividend Investing for Beginners or became Patreons and gained access to the Stock Ranking and Stock Ranking Pro. So check the links in the description to learn more and thank you very, very much for all your support. So let's start with the 10th biggest position and it is Meta Platforms. It makes up 2.27% of his portfolio and last quarter he reduced this position by 47%. Meta is of course a parent company for Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp. Lee Ainsley bought his first shares in Q1 2015 for around $82, but it wasn't till a year later that he made it a meaningful investment and the price by then was around $114. And we see that he sold almost all of his stock in Q2 2018 for something close to $194 per share. He came back to this stock in 2020 when the price was somewhere between $160 and $220. And he probably made a lot of money with it through the years. And then when the price hit its bottom in Q4 2022, he again invested big. The price skyrocketed and he kept on reducing his investment, locking in the gains. And straight away, we can see that he is a very active investor. So let's take a look at the ninth biggest position and it is LPL Financial Holdings. It makes up 2.28% of his portfolio and this is a brand new position. This company is considered the largest independent broker dealer in the United States. They support financial advisors and provide them with investment solutions, technology platforms, resources and services. When I said that it is a brand new position to his portfolio, I wasn't exactly telling the truth. It is a new position, but he invested in this company a number of times since 2017, when the price was below $40. Then he invested again in 2019 for around $70, but he really made this investment big in 2021 when the price started to go up from $104 to $142 in one quarter. And he sold his last shares when the price got close to $190. Now that the price is around $227, he is back. This was definitely a very nice investment for him, but I can't stop thinking what if he kept the shares and added to them over the years instead of selling and buying all the time. But because we don't know what he did with the money he got out of this investment, it is hard to say was it wise or not. Eighth biggest position in his US stock portfolio is Domino's Pizza. It makes up 2.37% of his portfolio and last quarter he added to this position 107%. It is an American multinational pizza restaurant chain. As of December 2022, there were approximately 19,880 Domino's restaurants in more than 90 countries around the world. Lee Ainsley bought his first shares in Q1 2015, and it is a similar story. He goes in and out of this position a number of times, and he definitely made a lot of money on this investment. 
And when the stock went down in 2022, he invested big. And I think that there is a reason he comes back to the same stocks many times. If we understand a company, if we track its progress, we are at a great position to take advantage of a rapid swing in price. That is why I believe that what we are doing here on this channel is so valuable. Because when we talk about a great company that is overpriced, we start to understand it. We are prepared to pull the trigger when the price will drop. Especially if you are a patron and have access to the Stock Ranking Pro in which you see which company is great, but also every month you see is it cheap at the moment. So Lee Ainsley knows his favorite companies and sometimes waits for years to pull the trigger. Seventh place goes to New Holdings. It makes up 2.46% of his portfolio and last quarter he reduced this position by 1.61%. New Holdings operates as a digital financial services platform and technology company, mainly in Brazil, Mexico and Colombia. This is a fairly new investment for Ainsley. He bought his first shares in Q1 2023 for less than $5. The price is slowly going up and there is not a lot of movement in this position, so this is an investment that we will have to watch and see how it will develop. Sixth biggest position in the portfolio is Rocket Pharmaceuticals. It makes up 2.49% of his portfolio and last quarter he reduced this position by 28.35%. It is a biotechnology company that focuses on developing gene therapies for rare and devastating diseases. Lee Ainsley bought his first shares in Q2 2021 for around $44 then continue to add to this position while the stock went down to around $14. So we see a conviction in the fundamentals. If he thinks that it is a good investment at $40, he believes it is a great investment at $20. And he kept on adding to this position and only recently, when the price got to almost $30, he sold over 28% of it. In fifth place, we see JLL. It makes up 2.54% of his portfolio and last quarter he reduced this position by 1.78%. It is a global real estate service company that provides investment management services worldwide for institutional and retail investors and also to high net worth individuals. Lee Ainsley bought his first shares in Q2 2021 for around $195. He's basically holding this stock through the years, except for a very interesting change in 2022 when he sold around 50% of his shares and just next quarter he bought almost all of them back. There could be hundreds of reasons for such a rapid movement, so all we know is that he probably needed cash and he got back to this investment as fast as he could. It is a first example of not such a great investment because since the beginning of 2021 it is not really going anywhere, but let's wait and see. Fourth is Visa. It makes up 2.56% of his portfolio and last quarter he reduced this position by 0.27%. Visa enables money transfers through its credit, debit and prepaid cards. This is yet another example of a stock that Lee Ainsley watches for many years. And every few years he finds the price interesting and buys. He first bought it in 2017 for under $100 per share. And he sold with a meaningful gain. And again, in 2021, he started to buy a lot of shares when the price was over $200. Last quarter, it was at 
$260 and he still has a meaningful number of shares. So it is going to be interesting to see how this situation will develop. Third place goes to Philip Morris International. It makes up 3.02% of his portfolio and last quarter he reduced this position by 16.32%. Philip Morris International is an American multinational tobacco company with products sold in over 180 countries. Its most well-known brands are Marlboro, l &M, Chesterfield and Bond Street. And the same story again, he understands the company and can be very patient. In this case, he waited almost five years to make a meaningful investment in Philip Morris International. I wonder, is it only a dividend play or does he believe that the business has grown substantially, but the price has not changed a lot through the years? So maybe there is more to the story. Second biggest position is Amazon. It makes up 4.5% of his portfolio and last quarter he added to this position 3.65%. Amazon started as an online bookstore, but it is now a giant in e-commerce, selling almost everything you can imagine. Lee Ainsley bought his first shares in 2017 then again in 2019, but it looks like he was only testing the waters. In 2020, he really made it a big investment when the price was around $90. And last quarter, the price was over $150 and he still owns almost 1.5 million shares. We also see that when the price fell in 2022, he added to this position. So yet again, it shows that he believes in the fundamental research and not market moods. And Lee Ainsley's biggest position by far is Coupang. It makes up 24.39% of his portfolio and last quarter he reduced this position by 5.22%. It is an e-commerce company founded in 2010. The company expanded to become the largest online marketplace in South Korea. Lee Ainsley bought his first shares in Q1 2021 for around $45 per share. And in the last quarter, the price was around $16. This seems like his worst investment and at some point it was over 47% of his US stock portfolio. So this is a meaningful problem. And of course it may change very fast and in few quarters he may be in the green. But as Howard Marks used to say, in investing, being early is indistinguishable from being wrong. I see three main lessons from analyzing this portfolio. One, believe in your research and the fundamentals and not let irrational behaviors of the market influence your decisions. Two, understand a business that you like and monitor its price, growth, financial health to be ready to pull the trigger when the time is right. And yes, our stock ranking tool is great for that. And the third lesson is the coupon investment. It shows that even if you believe you have a great idea, then making it a 50% of your portfolio may not be the right way to go. Because even if you are right and it should be a great investment, the stock market can stay irrational for extremely long periods of time. If you like this video, then you may also enjoy my analysis of Chuck Acri's or Howard Marks stock portfolio. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.